my lovely and from point students of JNB Fulmanadirpur, India of class 11 standard. So today, my dear students, let me introduce you to one exceedingly beautiful story and the name of the story or the title of the story is Birth. And the uh, name of the essayist is A.G. Cronin. So A.G. Cronin, who was a versatile genius, who was an essayist for excellence in English language and literature, he wrote this story, Birth. My dear students, when we come to this art, to this beautiful art, we come out from the womb of our mother. So we are born from the womb of our mother. And we see the world. We witness the world. We become the eyewitnesses of many episodes, many anecdotes of this beautiful globe. My dear children. So, but this is actually an excerpt means this is a part of one novel. And the name of the novel is the Sitar. Now, what is novel? Novel is a long story. The long story is called novel in English. And this birth, this chapter, it is a part of that novel taken from that very big book, the Sitar, my dear children. So, the principal characters of this exceedingly beautiful story are Dr. Andrew Manson, then we have the other characters also. Let me start the story. Through it, uh, though it was nearly midnight when Andrew reached Brian Goa, he found Joe Morgan waiting for him, walking up and down with short steps no. between the closed surgery and the entrance to the house. At the sight of him, the burly thriller's face expressed relief. Hey, doctor, I am glad to see you. I have been back and forward here this last hour. The missus wants you before time too. So, Joe Morgan, he was perfectly waiting for the arrival of the doctor. Joe Morgan and Susan Morgan, they had been wedlocked. They had been involved in natural, natural not. They were wedded, they were married 20 years back. But they did not have any child. They did not possess any child. So, now it was high time that his wife, his better half, Susan Morgan, was going to give birth of the baby. So, during the delivery time, the doctor's presence is mandatory. Doctor's presence is compulsory. So that's why Joe Morgan rushed to the chamber, to the surgery, to the clinical room of Dr. Andrew Manson with a view to taking him to his place. So that in presence of the doctor, the delivery could take place. My dear children, when a delivery takes place, then delivery can take place in two ways. One is cesarean cross section and the other is the normal delivery. When the doctors, they cut your, the stomach of the lady and after surgery, after cutting the, after the doing surgery, the baby is born. That is called caesarean cross section, my dear children. And normal delivery, it is very painful. So nowadays, the doctors, they prefer to all go for, the, they opt for the caesarean cross section. Caesarean delivery is done nowadays. Now, my dear children, so when a delivery takes place, then first of all there must be a one surgeon, then up, and there must be one assistant of the doctor who is preferably an ambiguous doctor, 
resident medical officer will assist the doctor. Next, one person will uh, perform, he will do senseless, he will make the patient senseless. It's called that he will do anesthesia. Anesthesia. Okay? And one child specialist or pediatrician will be there. When the baby will be uh, will take birth, when, we, when the baby will be born, the child specialist or the pediatrician will take care of the child. There will be one GNM, okay, and ANM trained nurses. And so their team will perform the surgery. So, but this delivery, which is referred to in the story, that was a normal delivery. And the normal delivery will take place in the abode of Joe Morgan. So Susan Morgan was the very much there. She was upstairs. She was uh, lying in bed upstairs. And she was having severe pain also. And she was going to give birth of her newborn child after 20 years of long wait. He, they, so they uh, awaited after uh, waiting for 20 years the baby will be born the first baby so yeah, when the baby will be born so they will be utterly delighted their joys will know no bounds they will be and uh, they will have they will derive what? unabated ecstasy and pleasure so that is the most important significant notable and catchy moment in every woman's life that giving birth to baby. So now <coughs> the baby, so Joe, but the doctor Henry Marshall, he had a word in well. There was one quarrel with his uh, girlfriend, Catherine. So that Henry Joe, Andrew Marshall and his uh, his uh, his friend, best friend, girlfriend, they had a word in well. There was a squabbling, but the bickering. So that Andrew's mansion mood was off. Notwithstanding, the first and foremost duty of a doctor is to save the life of the patient. It is insignificant whether the patient, the patient, the whether he is mentally not we, uh, sound. Okay, if he has uh, faced some quarrel with anybody, it is insignificant, it is unimportant. But he should attend the patient instantaneously. So Dr. Andrew Manchin, he agreed to accompany to the blind accident terrace and to take care of the patient. It was the midnight, the dead of night. Both of them proceeded to the abode, the place of Joe Morgan. And after going there, uh, Joe Morgan was waiting outside. He said, Doctor, I I, I do a trust for the person. No need for me to go inside of my house. I believe that you will take care of my wife. So you better go inside and uh, perform the delivery. Okay, I am standing. So he was just moving this to and fro, this side to that side. He was emulating. He was wriggling along. He was trudging along. And he was working outside the house because he was full of, he was so much tense. He was full of anxieties. Because his wife is going to give birth of first baby, first child. So he was full of tension. So he told the doctor, doctor, please go inside. The, my wife is waiting for you. The doctor went inside. The, his wife, Susan Morgan, was lying in bed upstairs. So the doctor, uh, he climbed up the stair, staircases and there was one midwife who was there and one old woman was there, old lady was there. The old lady and the doctor examined the patient very prudently, very care carefully and then he came downstairs. It was at almost midnight so there was no way to go back to his house and come back because delivery would make, make, might take place at any point of time. Okay. Now, that uh, lady, old woman, she was uh, very much witty, highly knowledgeable and experienced. So she said, Doctor, uh, you, uh, let me have, prepare a cup of tea for you. <laughs> the doctor said, don't worry, Mama, Ma mother, don't worry. 
Don't worry, I will not run away. I know that at any point of time the delivery will take place. I will not run away. You will not be afraid. You will not be scared of anything. Okay. So I will, I will not 